careful, but I'm probably sweating a lot underneath. So. Oh, uh, all right, guys. My name is Luke Matthews. My friends call me Gib, and my mom calls me Get the fuck out of the shower. <laughs> um, I was in high school. I graduated this year. Um, ah. I graduated. This year. Yeah. 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 Uh, one thing about high school, though, is that you always have those teachers that you remember. Like, for example, I had one teacher for AP U.S. History. Her name was Miss Shaheen. And she was from Europe, so she kind of looks like this. Hello, class. I am Miss Shaheen. And she was a hard teacher because she was an AP teacher. So the first day, she gives us a test. And I got an F on that test. So when I got it back, I looked at it, and I'm just like, oh, jeez. And she looks at me, and she goes, Oh, jeez, is I. <laughs> and then all teachers do this, all teachers do this. You know how teachers will go, like, and they'll talk to the whole class, but they're directing it right at you? Like, for example, she was like, okay, class, really evaluate if you belong in this class. <laughs> and she was like, right at me. And she do that, like, all the time, like, okay, really evaluate if you would be eating that sandwich. <laughs> and I'd just be like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I switched out in three days because she told me to, so. <laughs> and then I had, a, I had another class, and we did sex ed. So I was like, all right, like, boobs and vaginas, sick. I'm like, sign me up for that, dude. <laughs> uh, but in that class, uh, our teacher told us, women get maximum stimulation to the right of the clitoris. And all I remember thinking is, is that my right or her right? I gotta know, man, I gotta know. <laughs> like, what happens if you go to the left? Is that like you jump button or something? Like, what the hell happens? <laughs> and he keeps going on, like, saying all these things I can do with my penis. I'm like, fuck, man, I'm 18. I don't even know how to pee in a urinal yet, dude. <laughs> like, I watch SpongeBob every morning. No joke, man. Get out of the SpongeBob. Like, um, so I did graduate, and then this summer I went up to Europe. It was so much fun. Yeah, there's some people here who went with me, and. You have really made me realize like why certain things for 18 year olds are illegal here. <laughs> for example, the first night in Greece, one of my friends, uh, he ended up going to a strip club and spent 800 euros. <laughs> so for the rest of the trip, he was like mooching off, off like all of us, like trying to get some food. Like, hey man, are you gonna finish that? And I was like, I don't know. Did you finish it at the club? Like. <laughs> Like, also, we rented Vespas. All you have to do is just be 18 and, like, have an idea and you can rent a Vespa. And, you know, it made me realize I probably should have worn a helmet because now I have short-term memory. It made me realize I probably should have worn a helmet because now I have short-term memory. Um, but also, I did meet a lot of really cool people when I was in Europe. Like, I met this one guy who worked with Google Images. So, me and all my friends were like, so you basically supply porn for millions of people. And he was like, try billions. <laughs> and I was like, maybe that a billion and one. <laughs> I was like, you know, like, naughty nurses, like mayhem, like I searched that, that was a really great job, you hit it out of the park with that one. <laughs> uh, also, I met this lady who uh, approached me at about 2 a.m. in Barcelona. And she came up to me, and she's a prostitute. She's like, we make you so horny, 30 euro, 30 euro, we make you so horny. It's like, oh my god, 30 euros, that's the best deal I've ever heard. Like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, then we came back, it was so much fun, and now I'm going off to college. So, I'm going off to college, and I think I'm going to major, major in uh, improvisation. I just made that up. <laughs> you know, I was walking around campus and I saw all these bars and medical marijuana shops, and I was like, you know, I could do really well here. Like, this is pretty bad. <laughs> and uh, speaking of medical marijuana, I also, in Europe, went to Amsterdam. Uh, and I don't know why, but I was so fucking hungry all the time in Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, we jokes, alright, sex. Uh, uh, yeah, like, there we went to the uh, coffee shops. And since my parents are here, I don't want to... Pretty much the coffee there is fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> that was some of like, the dankest coffee like, I've ever had. <laughs> like, honestly, like, I can't wait until I get my medical coffee card. <laughs> and go for like, Mentor Boulevard, because that's just going to be like, fucking awesome. Uh, I'm kidding, Mom and Dad. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> 
Um, also, like another thing that I'm really nervous about in college is uh, roommates. Because the last roommate I had was like, it was back in the summer camp. It was a little bit of a weirdo. I was talking to him, I knew him for about five minutes. And he's like, hey, can I tell you something? I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. He's like, I think I'm a chronic masturbator. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do you want like the top bunk or the bottom bunk? <laughs>